They're pathetic <laughs> that want to keep killing our children. They could have blood from children spattered all over their faces and they wouldn't take action because they'll still see those dollar signs. Wait, what do you know about it? What do you know about the NRA? You don't know anything about the NRA. He doesn't even know how to pronounce Dana's last name. Yeah, he can't. Still, to this day, still can't pronounce Dana Lash. It's not Loesch. And she's not the CEO of the NRA. <laughs> he had plenty more to say attacking politicians for taking money. He says it's their job to fix America. And here's a continuation of that wonderful thought. Like, do you guys ever think, like, why the f are we the ones who are doing this? Well, at this point, it's like, when you're when your old ass parents like, I don't know how to send an iMessage and you're just like, give me the phone and you take and you're like, okay, let me parents. handle it. And wow. you get it done in one second. Sadly, that's what we have to do with our government because our parents don't know how to use democracy, so we have to. It just oh makes me gosh. think what sick are out there that want to continue to sell more guns, murder more children, and honestly just get reelected. Where, what type of person are you when you want to see more money than children's lives? How, what type of person does that? You guys seem to be, have such mastery of the internet in a way that I feel like, I mean, literally any politician pretty much doesn't, can't even approach it. And that's the great thing about it, because those f aren't gonna get reelected. But on the internet, they're on, you, they're on your mm. turf, essentially, like this is the way I think about it, but like you actually have to take that turf and take it to theirs, which is like making laws happen and getting people elected mm -hmm. or making sure people well, don't get elected. I mean, and when, you, when you start hearing from your political aides that there's a of angry future voters, you start to worry a little bit. <laughs> what a conceited, arrogant, know-it-all. It's hard not to just go oh. after this kid because calling him old-ass parents, he's got no respect for anybody, including his parents. Old-ass parents, you gotta just, uh, you gotta take the phone, iPhone from him, give me the phone. And they don't know how to use democracy. First of all, uh, you, you don't even know we're not a democracy, so why don't you calm down very, very hard with these kids. Tough to remember. Okay, he's 17. He thinks he knows everything. We've all been there. Long before our brains were developed and we knew better maybe some of us would have acted like this i can't imagine it but maybe i know i had more respect for my parents mm -hmm. than to call them old ass parents mm -hmm. even when i was 17 years F old no way would i ever do that sitting in their house saying that about him that's great and here's more because <laughs> you know why would he stop there he didn't let's say you can get a law passed one federal law what is it like what does it look like what is the first thing the strongest first thing that you do an absolute, if you have a history of mental illness, we need, our policymakers need to define that because I'm not going to, I'm, I'm 17. Right! I shouldn't have to. Ding, 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 ding! I shouldn't ding. have to be talking about these policy questions, but if I was to see something, I would like to see a 10% tax on all firearm sales. <laughs> I would like to see the federal age of gun ownership and possession raised to 21. Mm. I would like to see a universal background check um, implemented. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see more mental health care spending to ensure that people like the shooter mm. at Stoneman Douglas are not able to get these guns. Because the shooter at Douglas was somebody that mm. honestly, mm. It, mm. I mean, they needed help. That's really what they need. Right, and they should have had the help based on current law, Dave. Based on current law that exists. They should have, he should have gotten that help and should not have been able to buy firearms based on current law. So you pass more laws and those are ignored or those are overlooked or somebody falls through the cracks there. I'm sorry, you can't safety wrap our society. You can't do it. No matter how hard you try, there is no way to ensure and guarantee anything.